Um, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of things he does that uh, has helped me become a better football player. I think um, his work ethic, and I know that sometimes that's cliche to say, but but it's the truth. I think um, you see it a lot uh, every day in practice. Um, the the type of energy, type of um, you know the 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 competitiveness that comes out in practice. Um, it, it just pushed me to say, okay, I, I need to play at that level too as well. And so um, just his attention to detail, um, our meeting room, uh, we're always talking about, man, you could have done that better. Um, you could have done this better um, and giving each other a hard time. So there's, there's a lot of ways he's, he's made me better. And, and uh, that's why I love having him uh, obviously on this team. That's why I was so happy that he got the big deal. And um, and uh, hopefully we can continue to to be on the field together and and uh, play well together. How do you guys compete with each other? Uh, we compete with each other all the time. Uh, we want to run the better route, uh, and uh, you know sometimes coach will um, you know have have me run a certain route at one point, and then he'll maybe he'll run the same route, and, and uh, he wants to run it a little bit better and and get a little bit more separation. So we're always competing, we're always having fun, and we're always giving each other a hard time if uh, if we're not performing at the level that we know we can. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we do. Um, um, you know, he's my brother. He's, uh, he's a guy that uh, um, I love messing with, um, love having fun with, and uh, uh, like I said, he, he's just a, uh, He's uh, you're one of my best friends, and uh, and uh, you know it's not just on the field; it's off the field as well. Yeah, I don't think anything surprises me. I think every year is just a new year, and uh, you never really know how it's going to play out. Um, I think this division is usually like this at this time of the year, uh, where everybody has an opportunity to win it. Um, and, and it's going to come down to the last or the second half of the season, just like pretty much every year it comes down to that. No one's ever out of it at this point in the season. So um, it's a it's a tough division. Um, every team can win and they can beat good teams. I mean, uh, every every team in our division so far this season has beat teams that, you know, people didn't think they could beat. So um, it's it's tough to win in this league and especially in this division. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's it goes back to the things that we talk about every week of, of how you win games in this league. Um, you take care of the football, um, you run the ball well, um, you play well on third downs on both sides of the ball. And, uh, you know, I think every time we've lost to them, um, it's been where we've turned the ball over. We haven't been good on third downs, things like that. So uh, it, it's no different than every other week for us. And we have to play well and especially at home in the division. Set a record for two receivers, most catches in a season, two different receivers. Would you like that record better if it was one that you could share with Stefan? No, I think I think uh, Diggs would say the same thing. We don't really care about that stuff. I mean, yeah, it's 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 cool and everything, but um, we need to win games. And if we're not doing our part to win games, um, you know, that's why we're here. We're here to help this team win football games and. And you know sometimes stats don't don't mean that you're doing that. So uh, we need to make sure that we're refocusing every week and and uh, doing anything we can. Um, you know when when no one's looking too. You know sometimes the run game uh, doesn't go in the stats column. But uh, we need to, to perform well in that area to help us team win win games. When you have I mean, I think I think when you bust your tail and and you work as hard as he does and um, you're as as talented as he is, it, you know he deserves it. He deserves to have a thousand yards. But at the same time, I know I know his mindset is not about that. Um, he wants to win football games, and there's nobody in this locker room that wants to win more than him. Uh, he loves the game of football. He loves his teammates, and he is so passionate. Um, you, you see it every game, and it doesn't matter how well he's doing. Um, he he is so passionate about winning football games and. Uh, that's why they paid him what they paid him, and that's why we want him in this locker room because uh, of that personality. You got a shot at a thousand yards in the ninth game this week. I mean, can you envision how crazy that is going into the season? Or you potentially get a thousand yard game first nine games. Uh, never really thought about it. Um, still not thinking about it. Um, again, I, I say it every week. You know, it's uh, just trying to win games and trying to help this team win games. And if that's what I needed to do to help the teams win games, that's what I'll do. But uh, at the same time, every week's different, and you have to prepare like you, um, like you do every single week. When you grow so comfortable with some with an offense coordinator, he had Pat for almost two years, and then you have a change where 
your career has been going, what's the process of that like of actually building the rapport with a new play caller? Well, I think I think it goes to you know a lot of things that that we talk about all the time. It's um, performing every single day. Um, it's not just wait until games to, sh to turn it on and, and to show what you do can do because uh, the way you get opportunities in this league is you show every single day in practice um, that you can make plays and you can make plays and at a high level and you can do a lot of things. Um, you have to be versatile in this league uh, to get opportunities. And um, so that's kind of my, been my mindset since day one. It still frustrates me when I don't have a good practice because um, I know how important it is to show what you can do. What stands out about Darius Slay when you watch him on film? Yeah, obviously I've been going against him for a while now and um, got to know him over the years. Um, he's, he's an extremely good football player, obviously. You guys know that. Uh, Pro Bowl guy. Um, I think what stands out to me is just how comfortable he is out there. Uh, he's very fluid. Um, he, he's a very versatile guy that can play inside. He can play outside. He can um, he can be physical. He can run with you. So he's a guy that uh, is kind of a jack of all trades, and um, obviously is a is a tough matchup for anybody uh, week in and week out. <laughs> Since he got here, you know, I, I think uh, it, it's not necessarily competing. We just want to be great, and we want to help each other out, and we want to push each other. So. Um, I don't know. It's yeah, it's obviously co competition, but at the same time, it's we just both want to be great and we want to get better and we want to get better. And uh, when you have that mindset, you you just tend to push each other. Yeah, well, I, I remember, uh, you know, as a you know high school player watching him in college, I wore number 21 in high school because he was 21 in college. Um, he's just a, a guy that I was able to Pretty much, and we'll go back to being a versatile guy. I mean, he could block, he could run short routes, he could run a lot deep routes, and he'd catch everything. And when people were draped all over him, uh, he'd still make the plays. And I just uh, remember a lot of games of where Stafford would just throw the ball up, and there'd be three guys on him, and he'd still come down with the ball. So um, obviously, an impressive football player and a guy that uh, you grew up um, respecting his game. Yeah, I mean, there's just so many guys I couldn't even I couldn't even name off all the guys that I've watched over the years that I tried to pick pieces of their game from. But yeah, I mean, obviously, when you have a guy that is in the division that I watched a lot of games against the Vikings and uh, you see a lot of plays he made. And then obviously my first few years in the league when he was still playing, um, you know, saw a lot of his film and things like that. So, um, yeah, definitely uh, a lot of respect for him, what he did in his career. Cool. Thanks.